exciting news rocked the print-on-demand world a couple of weeks ago with the launch of Printonic, a print-on-demand platform that allows you, in addition to cups, mugs, candles, t-shirts, etc., to launch print-on-demand gift sets. I was able to cover that introduction as well as a part one tutorial on how to navigate the platform, so I will link those here. However, there was obviously an outcry for additional content regarding how to use their platform to process personalized items, along with different features that are on the roadmap and coming about. I was actually able to connect with the CEO and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation about how they came about, what is on the roadmap for them, different features that they're working on for you, as well as bugs that they're fixing. So I will get that over to you and post it on my channel as soon as possible. But in today, we are covering everything that happens after an order actually comes in for Printonic. So far in the Printonic platform, I have created my account. I have linked my store and I've linked my Etsy account and I've connected that. I've also built a couple of different products and now I'm gonna fill out a couple of additional pieces. The first one I wanna walk you through is branding and this is actually an update from my last video. They are rolling out updates left, right and center and it's very exciting because they are hearing the feedback that we have and they are shipping those updates to you as soon as possible. So one thing here is if you do wanna put in a custom return address, you can absolutely do that and they will allow you to do that. If not, they will just use their fulfillment address. And they also have this really great option here to configure a four by six insert, which will be printed and included in every single package. Originally when they launched this, this was gonna be a dollar per package. They have dropped the price of this down to 25 cents per package. And so it's much more reasonable for you to include a personalized note in there so they know who the product is coming from. And this is as simple as going onto Canva and creating a thank you so much for your order. Potentially you wanna include your Instagram handle or maybe you're looking to launch your own Shopify store. You'll wanna include that URL as well if you were originally getting this order through Etsy. So that way if they do wanna come back and purchase from you again, they can tell their friends and then you can save on the fees for the next order. So I've just created this really quick design in Canva. Obviously make this edited to your brand and your own design style. I'm gonna download this and I'm gonna throw it into there. And there you have it. I've just uploaded it. It says, thank you for your order, make it rain, and some of my socials and information there. So I can go ahead and hit close. And that is set, meaning that every time I send out a package, my customers are gonna get that little insert. The next really important piece here is the billing piece. This operates like any other print on demand partner where in order for you to approve your order and for that order to actually be shipped out, you have to pay for that product. So the way that this will work is somebody comes in and they purchases your item on Etsy or Shopify, that immediately transitions over into your Printonic account as an order, and we will walk through what that looks like when it lands in your Printonic account. That customer pays Etsy or Shopify, and now you actually have to pay for the product order for it to be shipped out. This may mean that if you're on a deposit schedule with Etsy, which all of us are, you're not immediately getting the revenue for this order to then pay for it. You are likely gonna have to pay out of pocket for this order to ship, and then once it ships and everything goes well, Etsy will deposit all of that into your account. Shopify is very similar where if you're using Shopify payments, there's a little bit of a lag there. So keep that in mind that this operates like any other print on demand partner. That's the same process as Printify, as Printful. You have to pay for the product and there's a little bit of a lag of when you actually get paid. So once you're over in billing, you're simply gonna hit add payment method and you'll be taken to this page that will look like you're checking out anything ever buy online and you're simply going to input in your credit card and all of your billing details and save that so that way your payment method can be used when an order actually comes in and we'll walk through that. And then the last piece you're going to want to make sure that you do is you go over into your settings and you insert into here your resale certificate and what a resale certificate allows you to do is not be charged for tax when you place an order through Printonic. Because we are the middleman, we don't wanna to have to pay for tax to then have the customer also pay for tax. You can get your resale certificate through your state and that just ensures that you are not being charged for tax for these orders. So that's all of your setup information that is needed on the Printonic side. I have already pushed through two different products to Etsy and they're sitting in my drafts. It is on us to make sure that we are being as robust as possible and filling out this information. 
so that way we get good visibility across a platform like Etsy. I know that there are a lot of questions out there regarding mockups and speaking to the CEO, Rick, they are working on this as a top priority, but there's likely gonna be some elbow grease that we have to put in as sellers. If you think about launching something on Printify as an early access product, you get the ability to have a little bit of an early opportunity and an early movement on those products, but they don't really have mockups. That's a very similar mentality here where it's gonna take a little bit of creativity for us to get these mockups ready to push live for our customers. And I think it is absolutely fair that if there are too many moving pieces here and it's a little bit too manual for a lot of folks, just wait, go with a different platform um, that is more suited to your style. But if you are really wanting to do gift sets and you're okay putting in a little bit of that extra effort, then there are still plenty of ways and the basics are here ready for us to use. I will do another video on how these products look and how they come. So that way you know how like beautiful they show up. They come with crinkle paper. As we just saw for an extra 25 cents, you can add in that branding element. So they are more of a premium option. So that way you can kind of get a better understanding of what it would look like if you ordered a sample and actually took some of your own images. I'm gonna include some of my ideas for mock-ups that you could generate utilizing Canva and Kittle and different AI generation platforms like Gemini and Nano Banana that will allow you to have really, really gorgeous photos without having to buy every single one of your products as a sample. So make sure you're subscribed, like, and have your notifications turned on because over the next couple of weeks, that will be coming your way. Anyways, back in Etsy. So I pushed through this Etsy listing. One other comment that I've been getting is that there's some issues with the shipping profile. So I'm gonna walk through a few details here. I did chatting with Printonic here that as of today, and I'm filming this on Friday, November 21st, they are pushing through some shipping profile updates that will mean that all of the shipping profiles will come through automatically. So that should take a lot of the ease off of you. However, if you've had questions on kind of how you set up the shipping profile here and, and what you might wanna charge, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. So let me scroll down to the shipping. There's two areas where you're gonna wanna make sure that you have added in Printonic. The first one is here in the core details. It will default to this saying, I finished this product and I made this physical item. We're gonna wanna change that and make sure that we put in somebody else made this product and letting it be known that it is still made to order and we're gonna select production partners. I only have a production partner of Printify in here, so this is where I am going to add Printonic production partner. So I'm gonna add the name. I'm not gonna show this to customers because it's really not needed. And I'm just gonna call this a print shop. In here, I'm gonna type, I designed the product, but the print shop prints and packages for me. From a location perspective, they are found down in Chatsworth, California. And I'm gonna click, I don't have the technical ability or equipment to make it entirely by myself. I'm gonna say, I design everything myself. And then I'm gonna select, they do everything for me. So now every time I push a product through from Printonic, I'll be able to select them here and make it known that this is coming from Printonic. And then from there, I can scroll down to the shipping profile. And, and as mentioned, this will be handled automatically soon, but in the meantime, if that's not pushing through properly, you have some options here. So I'm gonna create my own shipping profile for Printonic because I have my own point of view on what I would be charging for shipping. My shop right now offers free shipping over $35. Almost every single one of their gift sets would be char I would be charging over $35. And so what I'm gonna offer for shipping is kind of a moot point because whatever shipping price I put in there, if they buy a set, it's gonna be free. So whatever shipping works best for you, go with that, but there's not a way to do dynamic pricing based off of weight. So we're gonna have to set up a different shipping profile for each set if you wanna change the shipping, or you can go the direction that I would be doing, which is if you're not charging free shipping and you're not doing free shipping over 35, I would charge a flat rate shipping fee, something around $6, just to not scare your buyers away. And instead of actually charging what you will be charged for shipping, which I took a look at all the sets at somewhere between 10 to $12 per set, I would still only charge folks about $6 and just include that extra amount in the overall price that you're charging for your gift set. So when I come in here, I can see all of the different shipping profiles that were automatically pushed over and this should automatically update. However, if you did wanna launch a different shipping profile, you'll just go into here and say, create new. We will have to change this off of calculate them for me 
because we are not doing it based off of weight. As I mentioned, they are located in Chatsworth, California. The zip code is here. I will drop their address in the description below in case that's helpful. We are not gonna have control over how Printonic ships this. So it's really not that important to me which one I select other than the fact I wanna make sure that the ship timing is accurate for what I would assume it would take to get somewhere once I've actually shipped it. So I'm just gonna go with a pretty standard method of shipping and I'm gonna choose the USPS Ground Advantage since two to five business days once an item has actually been shipped is pretty standard for anybody in the United States. This is where you can include whether this is gonna be offering free shipping. Obviously, if you offer free shipping over 35, that's an automatic shop thing that'll happen for you or where you can set up the fixed price. So like I said, if you are wanting to charge for shipping, I'm gonna put in here a $6 one item shipping charge and I'm gonna include something like $4 per shipping. But again, this is something that you should be pressure testing and seeing like, okay, when I, when I increase it up to $8, does that decrease my conversion rate? So that way you can get an understanding on what is going to work for your product and your price point. As of now, I'm not gonna offer additional shipping elsewhere. I'm only gonna ship in the United States, but you would go through the same process and you would update that here. Also not going to offer any shipping upgrade, especially going into Q4, this is too messy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save as a shipping profile. And I'm gonna name this Printonic flat rate $6. And I'm gonna hit save profile and apply. So if you find that your profiles are not coming over automatically, that's how you set one up and you have your own discretion on what you wanna change that pricing to. Those are the other details that I wanted to make sure I walked through with you. The next step is I am going to place a test order with some personalization and push that over to my Printonic shop so you can see what it looks like and how we edit a personalized order. So I'm back in Printonic, I'm gonna go over to orders. Keep note here that if an order does not automatically pull in, you'll just have to click this button that says pull orders and that will ask it to go and refresh all of your order data and update that within your dashboard here. So as we can see on here, this has my one order that was pushed through, it is status pending. People have asked the question on if orders are automatically approved, no. No order will automatically be paid for. You have to go in and actually push it through to fulfillment. Even if there is no personalization requested, you will still have to come into here and push that through to fulfillment. So nothing will go out the door without you being able to make sure that you pushed go on it, which I personally like. They are talking about rolling out an automated push through feature, but that's not coming right now. So no need to worry about that quite yet. When I click into the order, I'm gonna get the details of that order. It shows me the actual total cost and that's broken down across the actual production price and the shipping totals. You can see here it's gonna cost $17.99 for the item and $9.49 for the shipping. Total is gonna be $27.48, but there is that extra 25 cent charge in there because I added the branding element. As you can see here, now that product insert flowed automatically into my dashboard and is included in my overall total cost. The way I personalized this item in that first video was the candle has no personalization tied to it, but the mug has a name that we're able to swap out for a different name. One thing to note is that if I had put in a gift message on Etsy, that would have flowed into the gift details here. However, none of that personalization will actually flow into the platform. And so you have to go back over to Etsy and check to see what the name is or what that personalization criteria was that you can then tweak and add into the Printonic platform. Make sure that you are checking the name or the date or whatever it is you wanted personalized and making that change. There's no way to easily within Printonic just like make the personalization directly in here. What you will have to do is go back over to your file, change the text old school style, download it as you would, and then replace that file. So the name that I've put into here is Kate. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit replace art and I'm gonna upload my new file. So before it said Meg's reading mug, I have changed that to Kate's reading mug. It's very simple. If you are in Canva, all you would do is make a copy of your old file, change the name, download it. It should take you very little time and then you upload that here. So then you hit upload and then now you can see that it has reset that and now it's Kate's reading mug. There will be no changes to the 11 ounce candle because that is not a personalized element. But if you did wanna do two elements of personalization, you absolutely could. And you would just replace that art here too. 
One feature that I have asked for and is going to be on the roadmap is actually being able to change the product. I personally have sold a lot of candles in my shop and sometimes somebody will reach out to me and they will say, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't actually want the fizz and glitz scent. I wanted the vanilla scent. Can you just make that change for me? And that's an easy fix to just go in and swap it. However, on Printonic platform, that's not an option right now, but they are working on rolling that out in the coming months. So if that were to happen and somebody were to reach out to you and they were to say, I screwed up, I want a different candle scent, the only way right now that you would be able to do that would be canceling this order or what they are calling it, ignoring this order and fulfilling a new manual order. And then when that ships, going in and dropping in that tracking number. The next step is going ahead and sending this to fulfillment. Clicking this button doesn't actually do it. You will go to a checkout page. So when we hit send to fulfillment, we will arrive at the checkout page, which will once again include all the details. I haven't actually uploaded my resale certificate, so that's why it is showing tax here. But once you upload that, you will not be charged for tax, which is exciting. And just it will allow you to make sure that you are choosing the correct payment method. And then from there you hit send to fulfillment and this order is now pushed into production. A couple other features that I have requested that are top of mind for me is going to be copying and pasting existing listings. That will just allow me to be able to move through creation a little bit faster. While it's not an option right now, the CEO confirmed it is on the roadmap and that should be something that will be allowed soon. So you're not having to recreate and redesign everything. You would actually just be able to duplicate one of these listings and copy that down. Hopefully this was helpful for understanding what it actually looks like when an order comes into Printonic. There are a lot of moving pieces, a lot of manual items. However, that is gonna get better and better over time. And if you're not ready for that, just wait, it's gonna get better. But it is very exciting that this is an option for print on demand. Additional things coming from my channel that you can expect. I will be posting a fireside chat as I will call it with the CEO, Rick, kind of talking about the platform as well as all of the priorities that they have to make sure that you have the closest information about who they are and what they're doing. In addition to that, I am also gonna follow up with an unboxing video so you can see samples of these products and what they look like when your customers actually get them and some more ways to be crafty with your mock-ups that I think will really help you understand that you don't need to order every single item that comes in and give you some idea about how to get your creative juices flowing and use AI to create really, really beautiful pictures. Once again, if this was helpful, please do me a favor and like and subscribe and turn those notifications on so that way you can get notified when those other videos come out. Thank you so much and I'll catch you on the next one.